Okay. So what kind of engine that's running on? This is the UL Power out of Belgium. This is the 350 IS, 130 horse, fuel okay. injection, fade X system. It's uh, working out really nice. We've we've enjoyed flying uh, behind it uh, in the 650 in our cruiser. Uh, direct drive, air cooled, four cylinder. So throttle. Uh, could you do like both sides? Of sure. Okay. Yes, I just got one throttle on this aircraft, but yes, you can do dual throttles, which is very inexpensive and very easy to install. Perfect. Zero. Clear below one two. Winds are pretty much out of the south today, so what we'll do is just do a normal takeoff and get out of the area, do some level flight turns, let you feel it. But come back in, just do a normal landing. Okay. Let's see what what the winds are. Mexico Memorial Airport. Automated weather observation. One six four nine. Zulu weather. Wind one seven zero at one two. Have you ever flown in an experimental before? No. Oh. Okay. You'll, this you'll, is my first. Oh, you'll, you'll enjoy it. It's, uh, it's very light, very responsive, a lot of power to wait to... to wait. Uh, Mexico traffic. Experimental 650 is going to be back taxi and for runway 18 Mexico. Uh, visibility is excellent. Yep. Yeah, this is what really flying is all about. Yeah, I love the visibility of no wings. So... <laughs> Publish like cruise speed for the uh, 125, 130. Yeah, it should be. You know, we should be cruising about 130. If it's, if it's smooth there, I can bring it up to about 2800 RPM, which is continuous RPM. Yeah, but any any engine, you should be cruising between 120 and 135 with this aircraft. We're going to do a run-up. We're going to run it up to 1,700. You've got it over there on your screen, too, also. So we'll run it up, and we're going to do an ignition check. Then we're going to go clear to the right. Both. Left. Both. Controls clear and free. we got the gas on the fullest tank. Flaps are up. Canopy's locked. Please. Canopy's locked and sealed. Yep. And now we're just letting the oil temperature uh, go up a little bit. It's very comfortable. You probably could use another cushion to sit yes. you up a little higher, so uh, which we, it would be a better benefit there. Okay, we're in the yellow there. Mexico traffic spinball is going to be departing runway 18 via local flight to Mexico. Okay, we'll have the stick back. I'll increase power, those will come up, and then we'll go forward with the stick. I've got it, okay, just, yep, you can follow if you want. Yep. Today. Yep. Well, I think morning news said like it's gonna be really bad by afternoon. Today? Yeah. Evening. Okay. Afternoon. Yeah, that's why I wanted to get you guys as flights in. <laughs> Is amazing. The 
for the view. Oh, yeah. Didn't it? Yeah. Oh, 120. And I got power back a little bit. Yep. And bring back power and we'll do some turns. Wave to the camera. Love it. Isn't that nice? It is. And I'm not doing anything, you know, 45 degree bank turn. Love the visibility. So when you're in Oshkosh or other places, I mean, do you do like trials there too? Or? No, it's just too busy at Oshkosh to do uh, demo flights. It's just too, too hectic to try to get in and out of there. Alright, we'll get pulled around here to the south heading and then I'll let you feel it if you want. Fly? Yep. I would love to. Okay, it's your plane. My plane. A little wow, bit more sensitive. Very responsive. Yeah, they have very small movements. Pull back just a little bit. Yep. There you go. I got power way back, so the nose is going to be up just a little bit more. Yep. Back just a little bit more because you're just sitting. Yep. Okay. That's very, very responsive. Uh huh. Go ahead and do a turn to the left. Turn to the left. Uh huh. And pull back just a little bit in the turn. There you go. Not too much. If you already had your license, you're probably three or four hours, you'll be used to it. Oh, is it? Yeah, and, and oh. especially if you're learning in a Satabria, you'll, you'll catch on very quickly. Okay. Yeah, you won't have any issues at all. So we're here at the, the rudder workshop. How, are you enjoying the rudder workshop here at the, at the factory? Yeah. Absolutely. And it's you're from California, so yes. Yeah. And what have you learned at the workshop? What would you, what would you tell other customers uh, that uh, that would uh, be interested in coming come to the factory for, or would you recommend to come into the factory? Absolutely. Oh yes, and, and it's a, it's an easy day and a half project. Uh, you come out of here, you know, building a lot of confidence that you can go home and start the rest of the tail of the wing section. Yeah. And uh, you meet a lot of interesting customers, and uh, you get to go up for a demo flight and see how the plane really flies. Uh, we got the UL Power engine in here. You can, you know, you put anything from a UL Power, a Continental, a Lycoming, a Rotex, a Viking engine, Corvair, any of those engines you can install. Yep. And avionics is it's really up to the customer what his desires are. Yep. And we got the Y stick here, which is the center stick. Uh, we have an option for the dual stick. The only disadvantage of a dual stick is it's a little harder to get in and out. And then the stick is always going to, uh, going to be in the way of the, the passenger. Yep. Uh, Ninety percent probably are better is uh, staying with the, the center stick. Oh. Uh, we do, you can't get a conventional tail dragger, you're flying a tail dragger now, so that might be something you think about, you know, or the tricycle's the way to go because you don't have to worry about the crosswinds as much. Yep. So you have a tail dragger version as well? We do, we do, oh. yes. 
I do not see it in yeah. there. No, we, well, we don't have one. We It's offered as a kit, but we don't have one as a display. Oh. That's nice, actually. Yeah, and then we got the leading edge wing tanks, which are, uh, you can either 12 gallons or 15 gallon tanks. And then we got the wing lockers, uh, which are, you can put 25 pounds in the back each one. These? Uh huh. Oh. And then uh, we got the baggage bear back there, which is uh, 40 pounds in the back. So it'll make, it'll make a nice cross country airplane in Northern California. Yeah, actually, yeah, and uh, kind of engines, I uh, think you can go with 914 on this thing. Yep. Yep, Motax 914 would work out great. Yep, yeah, well, I don't have really much experience in it, but yes. So basically the idea is to like go to Reno or places that usually would take like some time by road. Right. And Tahoe actually is already at 6,000. Right. So normally aspirated or um, a turbo. Turbo is what I'm thinking. Sure. And you got a few days to think about that. So oh, absolutely. <laughs> All right, well, why don't we go in and do a nice short landing. Okay. And uh, we'll finish building that rudder that you guys are building. Yep. Hey, Mexico traffic spin. One is going to be in a left hand for runway 18, Mexico. Okay, we got the gas undercarriage mixture prop seat belts, so all looks fine. And we're turning at the 45 for a left down for 1A. And what I like to do is to beam the numbers, I'll bring back power, pitch the nose up just a little bit to bleed off the airspeed, and then I can start deploying a little bit of flaps and start my descent. That's just my technique. Everybody has their own little technique. And a little bit of flaps there. Trim it just a little bit. No, this is very stable. It's got a very, it's got a lot of quite a bit of dihedral, and then, then the airfoil is fairly thick. Yeah, it just works out. Uh huh. Hey, yeah, Mexico traffic terminal is turning uh, final for one eight Mexico. Deploying the rest of the flaps. Flaps all the way down, which are 20 degrees. And we'll try to shoot for uh, approach speed, uh, you know, in the 60s is good. Okay. We're right there in the 60s now. Try to land on that center line. Put it right between your legs there. There we go. Or my legs. Yep. Just let it settle, keep just a little bit of power in. Nice. And he's on the stick back, gets the pressure off, there you go. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. I did. Do you mind if I taxi? Sure, like, sure, let me I get it straight down here. Yeah. Okay, get straight here. Okay. Very easy taxi because you're direct linked to the nose gear. Yep. Now go to the left there. I'll put a little brake in there for you. I don't have brakes. Yeah, I do. <laughs> we are 
We'll just keep on going past the Cessna here, and then we'll turn to the right. Okay. So I've noticed something like uh, Don't you turn right. did not have a huge checklist to go through, uh, like you just turned on. And that's because the, the, the UL power is just not there. There's not that many things on the engine, just a basic uh, run up. And there's no carb heat or mixture, so that really makes it very simple. Oh. Yep. Whereas your Satabi, you probably got carb heat, got mixture. <laughs> yep. Yep. Okay, I've got the plane. You got the plane. But this thing works up because I'm. Um, uh huh. Got room. Let's see if I can turn it around here. You probably need the brakes. Whoops! I hit the 